In this lesson, we are going to be talking about calculating the perimeter and area of a trapezoid. Um, if you look at a trapezoid, and I have one here, you can notice that uh, it's a quadrilateral. There are four sides. Uh, the one difference is from a rectangle is we don't have any 90 degree angles. We have this side and this side, which are parallel to each other, but this side and this side are not. So it has some unique qualities to it. So we're going to be talking about how do we calculate the area, the inside of the trapezoid, and then also the perimeter of the trapezoid. The perimeter of the trapezoid is just like the perimeter of any other polygon. You're simply adding up the sides. So right now we don't really know how long these sides are, so we're going to pull this over into our one centimeter grid and then do some calculations. This particular trapezoid, as you can see, has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeters. And it has another base on the top of 1, 2, 3 centimeters. Now I did some calculations to determine how the, the length of these sides. And in our last video, we talked about um, what's called the hypotenuse of the triangle. The hypotenuse is the long edge of the triangle. Well, for us in this triangle, or in, in this trapezoid, if we drew a straight line from the top base to the bottom base, you can see that we have created a triangle. And this triangle has this, just this part of the triangle has a base of one centimeter, and it has a height of one to three centimeters. Now to figure out the length, the long side, which is called the hypotenuse of a right triangle, this is what we have, a right triangle, we add a squared plus b squared, and that gives us c squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, a squared is 1. 1 centimeter squared is 1 centimeter. That would be 1. Plus b squared is 3. 3 squared would be 9. 1 plus 9 is 10. But it's not 10 centimeters. This is, we need to find the square root of 10. And the square root of 10 I've already calculated is 3.16. So since this triangle would be congruent to the triangle over here, congruent, remember, meaning the same size and shape, this side would be congruent to this side in our regular trapezoid. So this would be 3.16 as well. So if we want to start by calculating the area or the perimeter of this tra trapezoid, let me get him out of the way, this again was 5 centimeters. We would add 5 centimeters plus 3.16 centimeters plus 3 plus 3.16 again. So over here, 0.16 plus 3.16 plus 5, make sure you line up your decimals, plus 3. If we added all those sides up, we'd have 6 plus 6 is 2, carry the 1. This is 3. Decimal point there, 3, 6, plus 5 is 8, and 3 more is 11. So the perimeter of this trapezoid would be 11 and 32 hundredths centimeters. Okay, that's how you calculate the perimeter. The perimeters that you'll be given, or the measurements that you'll be given on your trapezoids, you will not have to calculate the hypotenuse. Um, I just wanted to show you how you could do that. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to find the area of this triangle, or this trapezoid. The area for a trapezoid has a formula. Remember the formula for a rectangle, and I'm just going to call it R for rectangle, is the length times the width equals the area. The area for a triangle, we'll call T, is one half the base times the height equals the area. And now for the trapezoid, we'll call this one TR for trapezoid, there's a new formula. The new formula is base plus the base 
divided by 2, or times 1 half, you can do it that way, times the height. All right. That equals the area of the trapezoid. So we have two bases. We have a base on the bottom, in this case, of 5 centimeters, and a base on top, which is 3 centimeters. But this is not the height of the trapezoid. You can see that the height of the trapezoid would be, just like we had before, a straight line from the top base to the bottom base. And it has to be a 90, form a 90 degree angle at the bottom or the top if this was flipped around. So there's my 90 degree angle. And you can see that if I use my grid, the height of this tra trapezoid is 1, 2, 3 centimeters high. So that's the height. It's not 3.16. That is the length of this hypotenuse of that triangle. So the height is 3 centimeters. So if we use this formula, we can see that base 1, we'll call that the bottom base, is 5, plus base 2, which is 3, divided by 2, times the height, and the height is 3 centimeters will give us the area of this trapezoid. Well, if we do the math, 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 3 equals 12 centimeters squared. That's how you calculate the area of the trapezoid. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Review what we did. First thing we did is we pulled the trapezoid onto the centimeter grid. And then we found the two bases, the bottom base of 5 centimeters and the top base of 3 centimeters. And then I shared the calculation for finding what's called the hypotenuse, which is the long end of a right triangle. And that was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. On this particular triangle, it would have been 1 plus 9, because 1 squared is 1, 9 squared, or 3 squared is 9, 1 plus 9 is 10. So if we found the square root of 10, that equals 3.16. That gave us the length of the side of the tra trapezoid, and since both sides are congruent, we knew that 3.16 was also the length of the other side. After we found that, we knew that we could just add each side of the trapezoid. That's what we did over here. And when we added those sides up, we got the perimeter of 11 and 32 hundredths centimeters. That, is, that was the perimeter of the trapezoid. Next, we calculated the area, but we reviewed the area of a rectangle, which was the length times the width, and then the area of a triangle, which is one half the base times the height. And then finally, the new formula, the area of a trapezoid, which is both the bases, B1 and B2, divided by 2, or times 1 half, um, times the height. And then we talked about the height was not the hypotenuse, but the height was a 90 degree um, line from the top base to the bottom base. And we found that to be 3 centimeters, so it was 5 plus 3 divided by 2, times the height of 3, and our numbers equal 12 centimeters squared. That's how you find the perimeter and area of a trapezoid.